hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to use a radio button and check boxes with your Visual C++ Windows form application so what I'm going to do is first I will take for example a radio button so I will search for my radio button here okay and as you know we are de developing our application so previously we have made an application to enter the basic information of an employee for example his employee ID his first name age uh, last name and age now suppose I want to enter his gender whether he is a male or a female and because I only have two option male or female I will add a radio button to select uh, the gender of the employee so I will take one radio button and second radio button and I will change the name of these two radio buttons not name just the text so mail and second is female okay So I will enter employee ID, name, last name, age and gender. And one thing you also can do is you can enclose your fields this data in one group box which looks like this. I will show you. From here to box, this is the group box. Just drag it into your application and just move it like that. And all the information which you want to separate from your form, you can just drag and drop into this group box so it looks a little bit nicer okay I will add my buttons also in a group and I will name my group box I will change that this text also which is group box one I will go to the properties and I will change it as employee info group box so it looks nicer when you look at it right and group box I have taken for a special purpose that group box groups the fields together so whatever element is enclosed in the group it's one unit together so this group box is one unit and your J your form is also one group box so this all the other stuff is one unit so what is the use of taking the group box is for example now I will take the check boxes to show the difference and when I run the program
so you can see they are in one group box so I select this and when I select this this goes off and because our frame is also a group so it will not affect this group so when I select this this is not affected but when I select this these two are selected so suppose I enclose these two are in one group box also then they will behave like this only one will be selected at a time so this means that when you enclose these checkboxes or radio buttons in a group box only one can be selected at a time otherwise you can select both of them okay so this is the basic use of a group box so I will exit my application once again and now I want to enter the gender of the employee so what I have done in my database I have made one more column for gender which is not filled yet because I haven't entered any data so what I want to do is when I press save button my data plus the gender of the employee should be saved in the database which is this so how can I do this let's see so first of all go to your source code of your form and go at the top here and just below the destructor of your form you can recognize it with this tilde sign just below that this is uh, the whole function so here you will declare one more variable and the variable name is gender for example which is a string type okay, okay. and once again come to your form and just double click this first mail radio button and I will come to the event of that radio button and what I will do here is I will rewrite my gender variable gender is equal to mail okay so when you press or when you select uh, the gender radio button for the mail then in my gender variable I will place male string same I will do for female so when I just double click it and in its event just copy and paste and instead of male now you write females okay and now I will come to my page design once again and now I want to save this gender so I will go to the save but button and double click it and this is the code I have written for saving the data so if you don't know this code just go to the 9th and 10th video in that I have shown you how to save data 
using that save button and I will go to these queries and I will run through the query first insert into your database dot your table name and in here are the columns of the database so now previously I was entering EID name surname and age now I want to enter gender also so I will just add this one more field gender and values and in the bracket I have I am entering the values so I want to enter one more value here so single quote and then double quote plus plus and in here I'll pass my gender variable which I have declared above this one if you don't remember this gender variable and once again to the query and in between this which I have made I will pass my gender variable ok so I think this is it I want to check whether it's working or not so I will check it so I will enter my username and password for example and now right now I have nine employees and now I will add the tenth employee so ten Morgan Frey age is 34 not here here 34 and he is a male okay and I want to save this data so I will press save and data is saved okay but I want to check whether the data is really there or not so you go to the database and just refresh your database once again and you see your gender field is filled which we are filling with the help of radio buttons one more time this time I want to enter some female name 11th employee Julie and surname is same age is 25 and he she is a female so I will click this female and click the save button data is saved ok once again I will go to the database to check I will press refresh and you can see now the gender is female and whole data is saved so in this way you can use the check boxes also radio button and check boxes work like same so instead of your radio buttons you can also use the check boxes whichever you find good or better for your application you can exactly use in the same way as radio buttons so I think that's it for this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.